Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss elimination reactions, its classification as E1 and E2 reactions, and particularly we will be dealing with E1 reactions. So, beta eliminations, beta eliminations are of two types. One is E1 elimination and E2 elimination. E1 elimination that follows a unimolecular mechanism and E2 mechanism follows a bimolecular mechanism. Unimolecular elimination reactions, that is, even reactions. Here, the rate of the reaction depends only on the concentration of the substrate, that is, the reactant, and not on that of the base or nucleophile. That is, here, if you take the rate of the reaction, the rate is directly proportional to the concentration of the substrate and it is independent of the concentration of a nucleophile or a base. Whatever you take, the concentration of the nucleophile or base, they don't play any role in determining the rate of the unimolecular reaction. Here the rate is dependent only on the concentration of the substrate. We have already discussed that the rate of a reaction is determined by the slowest step of all the steps. That is a rate determining step will be the slowest step. And this slowest step involves only the substrate and not the nucleophile or base. Here in the rate determining step, the substrate is the only species that take part in the reaction. That is a point to be noted here. And this implies that since only one species is involved in the rate determining step and that species undergo a slow ionization to generate a carbocation. And once the carbocation is formed, it will be stabilized either by rearrangement or by eliminating an electrophile. Say, usually the electrophile will be proton. That is, it will be attacked by a base to form an unsaturated species. Thus, we can say that even reactions it, that is unimolecular elimination reactions or even even reactions involves two steps in their mechanism. Step one is the ionization. This step gives rise to a carbocation. And the second step is the deprotonation. This gives rise to an alkene system or in general we can say an unsaturated system. Here we will see an example of unimolecular elimination reaction. Here we have a tertiary butyl halide and this tertiary butyl halide is treated with alcoholic potash that is alcoholic potas potassium hydroxide that gives 2 methyl propene. Here one hydrogen atom is removed as a proton and this halogen atom is removed as a halide ion. And this halide ion combines with H plus to give HX and that will be eliminated. So hydrogen halide will be eliminated to form an alkene system. Now we will see the mechanism of this reaction. Here the reaction takes place in two steps as we have discussed earlier. In step 1, the tertiary alkyl halide 
ionizes in a slow manner to give a tertiary carbocation system. This, this tertiary butyl halide, it ionizes to give a carbocation which contains a tertiary carbon. That is, the carbocation is formed is a tertiary carbocation. That is, this carbocation is highly stable. Being tertiary, this carbocation is highly stable and therefore there is no scope of any rearrangement. Edengri pithathil carbocation ondai kiri nyan, adhani stability ondai kiri nyan. Stability attain chayya nyan, randa marga vana carbocation see kiri kya. One rearrangement, randa elimination. Ivida rearrangement nana kaan na scope illa, karanam nana nana vichar, tertiary carbocation nana kiri nyan ondai kiri nyan, it is most stable nana. Adhu kundu, it is a stabilized elimination reaction. Step 2 is E on in the tertiary carbocation that will be attacked by a nucleophile. But if you have a nucleophile, you can use OH minus. If you have a reaction medium, you can use alcoholic potassium. That is an alcoholic medium. In this alcoholic medium, this OH minus. If you have a nucleophile act, you can use a base act. If you have a OH minus, you can use a carbon act. Positively charged carbon act, we can use alpha carbon. We can use this carbon act, we can use beta carbon. This is beta carbon. This is beta carbon. We can use three beta carbon. So, we can use a beta carbon act. We can use a OH minus. If you have OH- base, you can beta carbon and then one proton is OH- abstract. If you have a proton abstract, you can use the bond pair. This bond pair is the same. This bond pair is the same. You can migrate to the same. This is the double bond. If you have a proton abstraction, you can use the 2-methyl propene. Unsaturated system. So this, so this is the reaction mechanism.